Welcome to Science Investigators, the show where our investigation team answer all your science-related questions. This week, we're in Glasnevin Educate Together National School. Coming up on today's show... So, the question of the week is... Our scientists announce the question of the week. They do some research... And we meet our expert for the week, meteorologist Siobhan Ryan. That bit that connects everybody, regardless of where you live in the world and what you do on a day-to-day basis. Now it's time to meet our investigators. I'm Joe. I'm Eleven, and I love American football and science. I'm Anna. I'm Eleven, and I like gymnastics and science. My name's Cahill. I'm eleven years old. And I love science and football. I'm Leila. I'm 11 and I love science and music. And we are the Science Investigators. Hey guys, what do you think our question is going to be this week? Hmm, I don't know. I don't really know. It's here! Oh, it's the red envelope. So let's find out what our question for this week is. Why are there clouds in the sky? Hmm. That's a really good question. Joe, do you want to start? Yeah, I think there's clouds in the sky to block the sun because if it was very sunny every day, it wouldn't be rare, so no one would want to do anything when it was sunny. That's a really good answer. Well done. Leila, do you want to go next? Well, if there weren't clouds, there'd be no rain. Oh my God, yeah, wow, that's really interesting. Carl? If there's no clouds in the sky, it'd get really hot because it wouldn't block the sun. That's a really good answer. Let's go do some research with the rest of the class. Let's go, guys. So, hey, guys. We recently received the question of the week. So, the question of the week is, why are there clouds in the sky? Does anybody have any answers for that? Josh? To rain and make our lives hell. Yeah. Go on. Um, to keep the earth moist and to prevent droughts. Leila? Um, to keep us breathing. They were all very good answers, guys. I think we'll need to do some research. What did you research today? A cloud is a, lar- um, is a large group of tiny water droplets. I found out that there are clouds on Venus, Jupiter and Saturn. We figured out that if we did not have clouds, then that would mean we'd probably all die because the water cycle we need. Thanks guys, that was brilliant. I think we're going to need an expert. Dun, dun, dun. Coming up on Science Investigators, we meet our expert for the week, meteorologist Siobhan Ryan. That bit that connects everybody, regardless of where you live in the world and what you do on a day-to-day basis. Can you make a cloud in a bottle? Stay tuned to find out. But now it's time to check back in with our sixth class students to find out how our rocket scientists are getting on with their challenge. Can you build me a rocket, please? This is cool, but we want to make a bigger rocket. Josh had the idea to make Theo someone's fruit shoot ball. 
We did the same thing but we couldn't get to work. We tried three or four different things at the fruit shoot ball but we couldn't get it to work. We were pretty disappointed. I'm worried we won't be able to get our bigger rockets to work. Cheer up rocket scientists, I'm sure you'll make progress next time. So far on Science Investigators, we've heard the question. Why are there clouds in the sky? We've done some research. I found out that there are clouds on Venus, Jupiter and Saturn. Now let's return to Glasnevin for the final part of today's episode. I'm from Dublin. I love reading and I love taking photographs and going to the cinema. I like to do lots of things with that. Hi Siobhan. Welcome Hello. to Glasnevin Educate Together. Thank you. Why did you want to be a meteorologist? I think the weather is a lovely thing to look at. I love clouds, I love the sun, um, I love how everyone can relate to it. It's everyone's story and it's that bit that connects everybody regardless of where you live in the world or what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Why are there clouds in the sky? Um, well, basically there's clouds in the sky as a result of water that can be found anywhere on the earth like lakes, seas, um, vegetation. So that moisture rises up into the air and it condenses once it reaches its dew point or else it cools and at that point um, it basically is condensation and evaporation, very technical terms but basically the water evaporates and it meets all these little particles up in the sky and um, it collides and they all kind of bump together and all of a sudden they puff up together and form a fluffy clouds, as simple as that. Yeah, it's, it's all basically wa um, water heating and cooling, it's as simple as that. And what is the purpose of clouds? The main purpose really is to either heat or cool us. Um, and also it provides rain and it shifts dust from one um, part of the world to the, to the other. So um, to prevent, it prevents dust from staying on the ground. Um, so basically it's very good for the ecological system as well. And as I said, they, um, they keep us, they regulate the temperature more than anything. <laughs> For this experiment, you will need some blue tack, a large plastic bottle. We found that large bottles work better. Some duct tape, a bicycle pump, and the rubbing alcohol. You will need adult supervision for this part. And you have to make a hole in the lid so that the bicycle, the first part of the bicycle pump, can go through the lid. So first, we get the rubbing alcohol and put a little bit of it into the plastic bottle up to about here. Then we put the lid on with the bicycle pump going through it and we give it a bit of a shake. You take some blue tack and you wrap it around the pump so it's airtight and if this doesn't work use a bit of duct tape as well. So pump as much air as you can into the bottle and then release it when you think it's full. If it doesn't work the first time, try again. It could be that you didn't wrap the blue tack tightly enough around the pump and it's losing air. Or make sure that you have no holes in your bottle as the air will escape. And um, just keep trying and you'll get it. Now for a recap on what we've learned. Today we learned about clouds. A cloud is a large group of tiny water droplets that, can, that you can see in the air. Clouds are white when they first go up into the sky and then when they gather more of the water vapour, they turn grey. They change colours like pink and purple in different times of the day because the sun is at a different angle. A cloud is the lowest part of the atmosphere on the planet. There are clouds on Venus, Jupiter and Saturn. And we figured out that if we did not have clouds, then that would mean we'd probably all die because the water cycle we need. Next time on Science Investigators. Bending and bouncing light and distorting pencils. So don't miss it. <laughs>